In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the Ethereum wallet. I'm using a Mac, but it's almost the exact same process for a PC. On the GitHub page for missed releases, scroll down to find the most recent versions install files. Pick the right file for your operating system. In our case, we are downloading the Mac OS X version. I'm sorry if you have a 32-bit Windows system. The Ethereum wallet is available, but it is a much more complicated install and it is outside the scope of this video. While this continues to download, I want to recommend a couple of resources to check out if you have any trouble with this installation. The first is the Mist Troubleshooting Guide on GitHub. This will walk you through the most common problems experienced and is the first place to go. Another great resource is the Mist Gitter channel. They have heard it all there and will be happy to help. When the download is complete, you will go to your browser's download folder and find the application file named Ethereum Wallet. On a PC, you will have to unzip the file, but on a Mac, everything is easy. Well, except for permissions. On a Mac, you will actually need to hold control when you click the file and then click open because Apple hasn't officially approved this install file. I advise you to move it to your app folder or create a shortcut on your desktop so that you can easily launch the wallet. Here for our purposes, we want to use the main network. And if you participated in the Ethereum presale, you could import your JSON file using this page. Otherwise, hit skip. And then you will enter a password for your main account. Make sure to save this password. Without it, you will not be able to send any transactions using your Ethereum account. Please back up this password. I cannot stress how important this is. After that, you have an opportunity to practice patience. While you wait for the blockchain to download, you can convert your Bitcoin or other digital currencies to Ether using the built-in shapeshift feature by clicking the deposit Bitcoin button. Or, if you already have some Ether on an exchange, you can send it to your new Ethereum account address listed here that starts with 0x. I have a pretty good internet connection, and it took about an hour to download the blockchain. The sync would get stuck occasionally on a few blocks, especially on one block really close to the end. So just be patient and let it keep working. Eventually it will finish, and on the bottom it will say Launch Application. And when you click that, you will have your Ethereum wallet up and running. In the next video, I will detail how you back up your wallet and load it with Ether.